So if you're like me, you do remember the jailbreak days where we used to install GBA for iOS in order to play all different sorts of GBA ROMs on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Well, in this video, I wanted to do an updated version of the GBA for iOS guide and show you guys how to install it on iOS 10.2 without a jailbreak. So let's jump right into the video. So back in the good old days of jailbreaking, when I was rocking an iPod Touch 1G, the first application, or one of the first applications I would usually install, would be the GBA for iOS emulator on my jailbroken iPod Touch, mainly so I could play the Pokemon GBA ROMs right there. Absolutely awesome. Gave me such a thrill back in the day, guys. Luckily, there is an updated guide for this. It's very, very simple. Requires the same process that it used to require. Does not require a jailbreak, actually, and it only takes a couple minutes. First step, all you have to do is open up Safari and go to iemulators.com slash GBA for iOS. That link will be down there in the description, but again, it is iemulators.com slash GBA for iOS. Once you're on that page, you can scroll down. It gives you a little bit of a description for the application, shows you how you can play all of these ROMs on your device, and gives you two links. You can go ahead and choose either of the links. It explains exactly what they are. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the signed version here. And then all you have to do is go ahead and click install. Click it here one more time. Go ahead and click install. Actually just started installing it on the home screen. Once it is installed, we will go into the settings application to do a couple more steps to get this actually working on our device. So I'll come back when it's installed. So as you guys can see, it is installed right there. If I try to go ahead and open it up, I will get an untrusted enterprise developer message. To fix this, all you have to do is go into the settings application, go into general, scroll down, go to profiles and device management, scroll down again and click the developer that has GBA for iOS. Go ahead and click trust, click trust again, and it will trust the application, and it is now usable on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You can go ahead and open it up right there, as you guys can see. Go ahead and click allow notifications. It gives you a little welcome message. You can go ahead and click OK, and then it can show you all of the different ROMs you have right here on your device. If you go into the settings, you can see all of the different kinds of emulator settings that you can change here. You can change wireless linking, external audio, auto saving, notifications, the color palette, you can even set a web browser homepage to download ROMs. You can view all sorts of different settings in here, which is absolutely awesome, and it works very, very well. I'm not actually going to show you guys downloading a ROM. You can search for ROMs, I believe, by clicking the search bar right here. It brings you to Google, so the app actually leaves it up to you where you find your ROMs from. So I'm not actually going to show you guys downloading a ROM. That's up to you. But that's how you download the new GBA for iOS on iOS 10.2. This does work on iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And hopefully you guys enjoy that emulator. I will have much more content coming soon, so be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my Facebook page, my website page, my Google Plus page, and my Instagram, all down there in the description. Great ways to keep in touch with me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and I will catch you guys next time. Stay awesome. Enjoy the Game Boy games. Peace out.